Hello and welcome, man. Uh, I am, as always, your host, Eliza Bar. This is... Uh, somebody requested or said, Hey, have you ever seen anybody play the American Union State? I looked around on YouTube and I didn't see a video, so we're going to do that. But first, got to get to the Civil War. Yeah, the, the, the American Civil War. The second one, not the first one. And uh, I have been struggling with the sound settings in this game because some of the tracks that they use in Kaiser Reich are really bloody loud and some of them are at a more normal volume like the one that's playing now so I actually need to go turn this up and then we're gonna get blasted by something else here in a minute that's gonna be way way too loud and the sound settings are not linear at all oh my god I can't even hear it Like, see, that's what we're supposed to be listening to. But you can't even hardly hear it. I can't even hardly hear it, and I'm wearing a headset. But if I turn this up anymore, I'm going to die. So that's what's up with the music as we go forward. So we're playing the United States of America. This is the Kaiser Reich world, so we got the... Uh, let's pull up the political map mode. Well, that's what it's on, isn't it? I want the Diplo, 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 Diplo. Here we go. So we've got the uh, German Empire. Russia's going to collapse into a mess. Uh, there's the Entente, which will include Britain eventually, but not right now. Or, I'm sorry, not the Entente. The Internationale. Uh, the Syndicalists. Curse them. Uh, you got the Entente, all the former colonial stuff from the old empires. And then you got America. We got Liberia as our friends. We got the Philippines. And we're pretty big. We're the Americas. So, we have a lot of unrest. Oh my god, I, is there even music playing? I don't think I'm going to play with the period music. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't even know anymore. All right, well, whatever. We'll just leave that turned down. And when something really obnoxious starts playing, I'll crank it back up. So if you tuned in to hear the period music, I apologize. It's being a pain in the buttocks. We got troops scattered around, like, over here. I think this is the uh, cavalry division. No? Ah, there's the cavalry division. Okay. So we, we got troops. We got unrest. We don't have a lot of manufacturing available. We're building an aircraft carrier. And I'll be honest. As the United States, I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'm going to... We don't have any manpower. We don't have nothing. So basically, I'm just going to go through here. Unpause. And, uh... Oh, fine, I'll change our policy. Whoa, 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 we're paused. Stuff needs to stop happening. Okay, Viva Le Kaiser Reich. Stop. Stop. Okay, stuff is happening all through the world, and I don't particularly care too much about most of that stuff. Um, let's... Go towards interventionism, sure. And pause. Okay, the Mongols are getting restless. It happens sometimes. Yes, yeah, so we're paying down our unrest a little bit, very slowly. Totalist charter, whatever. Most of this stuff doesn't matter for us. There's a lot of things that are just kind of like flavor that are happening here. Until I get some kind of decision, I'm not going to worry about it. Doo -doo -doo. Like I said, this is just kind of blitzing through to set up what's coming. Oh, I should have read that. I think this is where we send uh, people over to fight 
the socialists in, yeah, in Italy. That's what it is. Um, I should have read that, though, so you could have seen it. Andrew the Eighth took the throne. Stock market crash, so that was Black Monday. Samus intervened, but only when needed. The Black Week comes to an end. Vice President Curtis recovers. National unrest, 1%. Why? White House finally announced that the Vice President was slowly recovering. If Curtis could be the first person of Native American ancestors, poor health seems to be a dark omen for the end of the Hoover administration. You know, generally, when a Vice President stops being ill, it makes things better. But that, that's not how this world works. Battle of the Overpass. Here we go. This is in Detroit. Let's kind of zoom into Detroit here. In Detroit, Michigan. Automotive capital of the world. Leaders of the United Auto Workers, Walter Ruther and Richard Frankenstein, called a general strike against the Ford Motor Company and began what they and began what they called unionism, not Fordism, demanding higher pay and less hours at 2 p.m. A photographer from the Detroit Free Press has taken photo of the leaders of the UAW saying they overpassed overpass with the force in the background while they were opposing. 41 with batons from the Ford Service Department and an internal security force came from behind and began to beat them. This will hurt us more than it will hurt the unionists. World premiere Modern Times. The premiere of Charlie Chaplin's new movie Modern Times is attended in New York by personalities such as Jack Reed, Marcel Pavert, Philip Snowden. Especially coming to the USA. These are all people that are leaders in the syndicalist party elsewhere. Well, Jack Reed's an American syndicalist, but uh, Philip Snowden, I think, is the head of the British government. Featuring Chaplin's Little Tramp, seen as anti-capitalist, anti-force manifesto in favor of the combined syndicalists of America. After a few days, it is censored by the federal, excuse me, by the federal government. Judges too provocative for a few months before election. So you can see we're just ramping up and up and up on the unrest. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. People have played the U.S. and won, and I don't really see how they do it. I'm not sure what you can do to prepare for what's going on. I guess maybe I could pull all my troops back to Washington. But a lot of these units get deleted anyway, so... So there's tensions afoot, you know? And no matter what I do, it won't help. 100th anniversary of the Alamo. Today marks the 100th anniversary of the Battle of the Alamo, where 200 brave Texans fought and died for our freedom. Unrest actually went down for once. Isn't that ridiculous? It's crazy. Oh, uh, Delhi ate the Afghans? Or is going to? I wish I could see what was going on over here. Still a war? Yeah, how has Delhi not won yet? Oh, there we go. Okay, Middle Africa wants the Portuguese colonies. So there's war. Time Federation asked the President of the United States to shut down this radio priest and Father Coughlin and his message of hate. Three years from day, Father Charles Coughlin started doing weekly radio broadcasts in America. And more than 50 million people turn on the radios and listen. He is a raving anti-Semite, claiming that the syndicalist revolution in France is fomented by the Jew, and that the Berlin stock market crash is an international conspiracy of Jewish baners. I don't know what that means. Somehow people still tune in. His hate speech will not be tolerated by the church, and the Pope is expected to make a decision whether to ask the United States government to shut down his broadcast so his hateful message cannot reach the public. Okay, so on the one hand, I can censor, which is un-American. On the other hand, I can go, screw you, Pope, which is a pretty American sentiment. Like, we don't take orders from foreign governments, or at least we're not supposed to. Uh, so, no censorship. He can do whatever the heck he wants. It's called free speech. He has a First Amendment right to say whatever the heck he wants. A 
March 16, 1936, warmer than normal temperatures led to the melting of snow and ice on the upper Allegheny and Mon Monongahela rivers. These rivers and the tributaries were already over the banks and were threatening the city of Pitch Pittsburgh. On March 17th, the waters reached flood stage 25 feet, heavy rains overnight. Oof, 46 feet above. Wow. Yeah, we must help the people. Okay, what's next? National France, Japan, profits, profits, profits. Profits from the legation cities. Following the 1926 German intervention in China and the Treaty of Nanjing signed in November, foreign trade was left to the richest cities of the coast under joint control of world powers owning interest in China. The independence of, these consortia, of this consortium of cities was guaranteed by... Okay, that's a typo. But the point is, we're getting stuff. So, that's cool. One of our ministers died. Okay, nobody cares about George H. Stern. At least not in this game. Okay. We're just gonna keep going here. This episode is gonna be us rushing to the Civil War. Okay, so war has started in Asia. Well, let's check on uh, Afghanistan. It, it's not over yet. In order to try to gain more sympathy from the North and West, it's been proposed by the Senate and the House that an Indian Citizen Act be passed, granting all Indigenous peoples of the United States elevation from second-class citizens to first. Well, sure. They're, they live in America. They're, they're born here. Granted, if they were born on a reservation, it gets kind of murky, but, you know, let, let's just do it. Anything to get my... Really? Whatever. Anything to get my unrest down, right? Okay. Chaos in Panama. Yesterday, President Hamodio Madrid of Panama was assassinated by a syndicalist. Mm. Reports from our agents in the Canal Zone indicate that the country is in the midst of a syndicalist revolution, the success of which would put both the Canal and our interests in Central America in great jeopardy. Um. Yeah, give him the green light. We, the syndicalist should stop. We have to protect our interests. And if I need to, I'll send some more troops down here. Mm. Oh, look at this from Mexico. Mm-hmm. Efforts and influence prevent another syndicalist revolution in Panama, which threatens strategically important Panama Canal. Good. Thank you, United Provinces. And you are now, like, the strongest uh, Central American state. Well, I guess not. Uh, Central America's pretty tough. But you should at least be able to stalemate them for a long time. You know, assuming it comes to war. So we have other governments, uh, you know, screwing around in our business. Oh boy. Poland is trying to get money. Okay. I'm familiar with that event. Dude, seriously, it's just Afghanistan. Then again, that's what the Soviet Union said, I'm sure. It's just Afghanistan. Hey, the Olympics. Cool. Um, I just want to watch what's going on here, so we're just going to do this. Really? There's a single militia division. What? What are you... Oh my god! 
Hey, go Jesse Owens! Okay, they bombed the entire Afghan army out of existence. Alright, so next... Great heat wave of 1936. A heat wave has struck the continental United States and Canada. Most of your heat wave in modern history of North America. The great heat wave started blah, 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 plus two descent. <sighs> okay, I think I got to turn the music up. Stop. That's not what I wanted. Thought escape would bring up the menu, but it doesn't. So let's... Is that too loud? No, that sounds okay. I, I really apologize for the audio here. Wow, now that seems really loud. I think I've just overcompensated. Whoever picked the tracks... picked bad ones. They're too dynamic. They were not mastered for the use they're being used for here. Who? Would be assassin. Passed away after losing battle with his prostate condition. His body would be taken back to his hometown of Vilnius, Lithuania for his funeral. Well, why was he in America if he's an agitator and an assassin? Hey, Gone with the Wind just came out. It's a pretty good movie. Oh, they're talking about the book here, aren't they? I never read the book. I've only seen the movie. Okay, Georgia's gonna do stuff. Hey, Delhi won its war, finally. We shall celebrate the democratic ideals. So we're getting our unrest under control. Very slowly. Held the king emperor, but legally established him as a figurehead in the Imperial Durbar of 1936. Okay, the Mongols won their war. You may remember if you saw me play the Mad Mongols campaign, me doing exactly what they just did. Any government opposes an Ayatollah? Mongolia will rise again. Cool, so the Entente uh, just got some extra troops. Once the Afghans, well, they've already got like three units there. That's pretty good for them. Um, Little Africa is winning its war. The Stanley is back in Hockey Town. The Detroit Red Wings have swept the Maple Leafs. All right, good work. Since Lord MacArthur, internal problems the U.S. have led King Edward VIII and Prime Minister King to talk to the man behind the strongest political environment in the U.S. The Army in a private letter, Edward VIII has said he wants to blah blah. He doesn't want, and he doesn't view a push to save America as something which Canada would not support. The letter is emphasis and solidarity between Canada and the U.S. in these darkest of times. So once again, we have uh, another country doing stuff here. And Middle Africa won. So Portugal has given up. Oh boy. So the Mongols are going to invade Tibet. I think I did that, didn't I? I seem to remember that. But uh, your army was way out of position. The Japanese Entente Accords dissolved. Hmm.
So I guess this is uh, a lot of just kind of watching and waiting, huh? Well, I guess the only hot war is this one. Japan's becoming a military dictatorship. Oh, that sounds familiar. Okay, let's just watch the war here. I thought George H. Sturm was already dead. <coughs> uh, apparently, he just can't make up his mind as to how dead he is. Oh good, the heat wave is over. First Borges International Festival. Port of general call for elections within two months, a military coup, whatever. It's just Portugal. Go Mongolia! Probably a much more interesting war to watch. Hey, I didn't even know that great military parade event was in the game. So, now here's a silly thing. We made it to 0% unrest. But we're still having problems? Like, I don't understand. Like, there should be a trigger. Oh, you're at 0% unrest? Well, you're doing good. You know, human player. Yep. So, we got us a uh, Russian Civil War going. Uh, Russia just lost Siberia. Which is really annoying when you're playing Russia. Uh, we got the aircraft carrier built. We got plenty of manpower. What should I do as America? I mean, honestly, we probably should queue up troops if I'm was playing America straight up legit, but I'm not doing that, so... Oh, crap, I haven't even been doing research. Oh, I'm sorry. This was a mistake. I, w I didn't mean to play America that badly. Not that this is going to slow him down, but... Crap, crap, crap. I feel like a jerk now. Maybe I should have just went and played some country that could be hands-off without any trouble. We don't really have anybody that's appropriate for this, so we'll put Harvard on it. Uh, look at some aircraft, guys. What do you feel like? Some 1937 interceptors? Sure! Pretty good, I hear. Gosh darn it. can't believe I did that. I apologize. We're not going to go back and redo this just because I don't want to spend another 30 minutes in this, but, you know, I didn't mean to do this, what just happened here. Ah, uh, yeah, some ASW equipment sounds pretty good. Some AS dubs. Springfield, you can make us some new artillery. Alright. Well... We're going to build a little bit of production, get some battle or some destroyers out. You can always use more destroyers. This way I don't feel so bad about not really playing America. Can I automate tech? I wish I could, and I would have just done that. Do -do -do. 
They shall be incorporated peacefully for Tibet. Interesting, Mongolia. Um, oh, here we go. I mean, that seems like the option to pick. Although I wonder what happens if I pick Huey Long or Jack Reed. Oh, got some research done. Yep, start that project, Joe. The Russians have more divisions, but their divisions also kind of suck. Oh, I don't think I got that event when I was playing uh, the Mongols, or if I did, it was at a really bad time. Here we go, the Civil War is starting to build up for real now. So Jack Reed is all... Oh! You didn't elect me president. I'm going to start a civil war. So things are getting real. And now America First is doing similar. Uh, so on one side, we have a guy establishing an army to overthrow the government. On the other side, we have people going, hey, we think that the election was rigged. Things are getting serious here in the U.S. of A. Yep, go ahead, Caterpillar. You can work on making me some new tanks. I wish it were possible to, like, there was a scenario of just the Civil War, because I would just play that. The Kaiserreich world gets awful messy, awfully quick. Okay. So now Jack Reed is like, oh, you guys want to recount? Well, I want to recount. Everybody wants a recount. President Hoover supports the new president. Herbert Hoover threw support behind the incoming president and hoping that he would be able to hold the country together in these tough times. Great. What happened in Georgia? One minute they were, like, totalist, and now they're a kingdom. I missed something over there. Some serious business. Come on, guys. German Empire had the new Schwabenland expedition. It's cold outside. It's cold there. Okay, 1936 Infantry Division. Should I be intentionally sabotaging the U.S.? I mean, maybe that should be what I get up to here. Do we have a Mountain Infantry School? No, we don't. We can work on motorized infantry. Let's work on that. Uh, looks like Colt is probably the best choice. Or maybe... Yeah, they, they get 10 for that. Okay, go for it, Colt. In protest of the election results, the CSA launched a strike. Because nothing is more American than throwing a hissy fit over the election. Seriously. This is in the wake of this last election. Like... If there's anything that's American, it's getting really mad about elections. Okay, Ernest King, go for it. Post-war tank, cool, I am down with post-war tanks. Georgia went with alliance with Germany and foreign policy of the Jordan Kingdom. Germany Empire went, the whole Caucasus is not worth the bones of a single Pomeranian grenadier. Whew. 
That's a little harsh, guys. Like, seriously. Okay, so Huey Long held a rally. Go undude. The CSA is crazy. So now we're back up to 10% unrest. It's funny how that works. Wow, German unrest must be insane. Okay, Bright for Country Auto. Battlecruiser technology. Whenever I play this game, I like to try to spread my research out over as many different texts as I can. Or different kinds of texts, I guess is what I'm trying what I should say. Uh, Springfield, what were you working on? Artillery? Yeah, well why don't you make me an anti-air brigade? I'm very interested in that tech. Nagel Dress of John Nance Carter. Cool deal. Present response to the CSA strike. Reed and the CSA had launched a strike to oppose the results of the election. By the inauguration of the new president, the strike had been going on for nearly two months, and no one had devised a way of ending the strike. The American First Party advocated using federal troops that this would further the problems with the CSA. Well, this one lowers my descent, so we're going to do that. going on? Oh, the Dutch government. Became syndicalist. Mm, life is getting crazy for the Germans. Federal involvement in the strike. The general strike by Reed had forced the federal government to consider the option options to either end the strike or get the industry back online. Along with the American First Party, it suggested that unemployed workers in southern states be moved north to fill in factories and start production again. This would solve the labor problem, but would cause further problems to CSA. Who cares? People need jobs. And if some people don't want to do the jobs, and other people want to, then okay. I'm trying to stoke the flames of the Civil War so we can get this party started properly. Valentine Day explosion. The ship, Edgar Williams, exploded in the New York docks only minutes after entering it. Investigations show that it contained a large amount of explosives going to an unknown location. So the government think is a plot by European syndicalists to smuggle weapons in the CSA. Hmm. I'm just scrolling through the log down here to see. I don't really see anything. Yeah, disastrous. Federal workers arrived. When the federal workers arrived, there was an immediate reaction from the CSA groups. The CSA came out to protest the federal workers. They were met by groups of American First thugs who were protecting the workers. The first president threatened to destabilize the situation. time I see. I'll take that. Look at that. We got a whole lot more production. And, um, that's enough production. We should just start making the troops. There we go. Give me ten infantry divisions. Uh-oh, National Descent plus two. So Germans are spreading their troops around because of all the unrest that they're having. This looks like a uh, world where the syndicalists are going to win. 
Our military group, the Minutemen, were considered nothing more than thugs by most people, but Long did not hesitate in offering them as a solution. No, federal troops are enough, yo. Stay out of my business. Okay, the communists had their, uh version of uh, the Olympics, the Spartakiade. Oh, the Korean Rebellion started. Let's check that out. This war never goes well for the Koreans, but let's see what happens. God damn, Reed. CSA attacked federal troops in Chicago. Reed declares a worker state. Oh, baby. Weakness, CSA expands influence. California leaves the Union. Fine, guys, you know, California leaves, the, but that didn't happen. Okay, whatever. Louisville. Just do some air superiority over... You know, the, the region. Infinite mission time. Just, just shoot stuff down. Operator of the war moved, Star Ronald Reagan joined the National Guard and was deployed in the DC garrison yesterday. The National Guard confirmed those rumors. The Star, robot monster, Plan 9, loves in the air, and springtime for Genghis Khan has been killed under mysterious circumstances. United States, the dead nation, rise of the AUS, why revolted, where the Navy defects, Canada seizes New England, uh, we'll pick that option, that way we don't have Canadian troops fighting in uh, the American Civil War. Alright, so this is where this episode ends. And next episode, I'll pick up playing the American Union State with President Charles Lindbergh. I will see you guys then, and uh, have a great day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.